Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and what we have here is one of the most ubiquitous locks in all of the UK. This is the Yale Rim Latch or Night Latch or Rim Cylinder, um, also known just simply as the Yale Lock. Uh, does, even if it's not actually Yale brand, these are these are so common in the UK. They are absolutely everywhere, found on a lot of properties. Rarely on their own, often with a, another lock, but um, you know, like a a chub five lever or something like that. Um, but but nevertheless, uh, really really common. I haven't actually picked one of these on camera yet, which is really strange. I've picked lots of rim cylinders and um, and other things, but uh, not uh, an actual standard Yale rim cylinder. So this is a five pin lock, um, works as you'd expect, just, um, yep, there's the bitting. Odd bitting on this one, isn't it? Lots of uh, high at the front and back and lots of lows in the middle to protect that last pin. Um, and these sort of fell out of favour a bit when uh, Euro cylinders became more popular in the UK. So sadly you're you're seeing, I guess, less and less of these little night latches and, and more and more of these euro cylinders. Is that a problem? I don't know. I, I guess that people tend to just rely on one lock with this and they, they often have uh, two different mechanisms with this. So it's hard to say where you're more secure. Anyway, um, why are they called uh, night latches? Well, they, they, they I guess they screw into um, a mortise, a hole in the door and they often come with a lot of other hardware. So uh, this is an era um, night latch in a, in a scutcheon, uh, just a security device de designed to sort of deflect um, levering attacks or hammer attacks. Very cool. And um, the actual latch part of it is a, a secure slam latch. Um, so this would, as you close the door, this would obviously go in and then slam um, into place into um, you know the, the, the latch the housing and, uh, and and lock your door so um, yeah so, so that's sort of how how so many properties hundreds thousands do you know what possibly even millions of houses have these in in the UK it's hard, really hard to say but they're really common so yeah I just wanted to have um, a look at picking one of these actually this is the only one I have with a key um, despite it being particularly odd bitting, um, I thought we'd have a go at picking it and gutting it and seeing what's inside. Okay, I'll see you in a second when I've got this in a vice. Okay, so we're in the vice. Key working nice and smoothly, as you'd expect. Just going to apply some bottom of the keyway tension. Um, nothing particularly special. Uh, it's actually anti-clockwise tension. No particular reason, it's just this tension tool fits and it, it fits fine. I'm going to drag this hook back through the lock until I find a binding pin. Um, I'm going to use a medium hook, this 08B Southwold Max hook in 20, 23 thousandths of an inch, just because I find that it's always good at picking these EL locks. Um, and you can twist it around the warding and hit some pins without necessarily disturbing some in the middle. This particular lock has really odd bitting in that there's a very high pin five and pin one and very low pins two, three and four in the middle, which is actually quite a good anti-pick feature. Um, so I'm just gonna go in at an angle, not to disturb all the pins and try to find pin, well, any pin that's binding, but it feels like pin five and curl it around the warding. And I think I've got a set there. So I've removed the pink. Go in again, and pin one feels like it's binding now. Set that. There we go. And oh, just touched, touched. I don't know what pin I touched, but a, a pin in the middle, and we have an open. Okay, well I have the key, so I'm going to lock this back up, and we, we'll have a go gutting this.
Okay, so this is a, a an absolute classic. Yale here, you can see how we have all standard key pins in positions one to five here. And then we go standard spool, standard and spool in terms of the driver pins. Now, because seemingly I only need to pick pin five and one and touch a pin somewhere in the middle, these spools did not get a chance to actually um, play at all, which is a bit of a shame because these lots are usually very good fun in terms of the way the spools fire. But, you know, this is just the way they come sometimes, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'll put in one of these long driver pins, and then pop in a spool. Oh, we'll see it sort of falling out. But essentially what's happening is there isn't really enough spool um, in the keyway to, to really cause a false set. Clearly there's a little bit of the pin which will be in the keyway, but frankly combination of the pick shank and just lightly pulling the pick in and out of this lock is enough to just set these pins just enough. They certainly do not act like spools and I think that's a shame because, like I said, these Yale locks have really, really good spools in them. But I guess we can't always be that lucky. You know, these Yale night latch rim cylinders, they really are an, an absolute classic. Um, and I think they offer a reasonable amount of security, especially when in combination with a, you know, locking deadbolt of some kind, a nice five lever lever lock combination with uh, one of these is, uh, is you know, that's... That's um, a, a very, very British uh, lock combination right there. Anyway, it's a classic. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I'll see you all next time.